Welcome back, welcome back. It's part two of the Secret Garden Journal and I've had my lunch, still buzzing from the coffee. And I found this gorgeous little uh, print and I thought that should be a view through the wall. There's a chink in the wall and that's a view into the garden beyond because I, I looked at it and I looked at it and what am I going to do? This almost looks like a cloud of smoke, like a genie <laughs> popping out of the flowers. I thought, no, 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 I don't want that. So what I'm going to do now is I thought I can adhere that. I can build the bricks around it a little bit. Um, perhaps put some more texture paste leaves down so that it actually does look like a hole in the wall. Will it work? Dunno. I'm feeling brave now that I've got a full stomach. So, <laughs> let's see, shall we? Right, first thing to do is I'll just put a little bit of Mod Podge on that. Cover my ink up. Move everything aside. I've got a tiny little table here. It's um, I think it's 32 degrees outside, but it's windy and it's been raining, so I've got the air conditioner on 24, and I'm pretending it's winter. I love that. I can't handle the heat, um, just sets my MS off, so I've got to uh, keep myself cool. Right, okay. So now all we have to do is rescue this, there we go, and wait for that to dry. The same principle I thought as before, keeping it nice and shiny, that way the if I get any wet texture paste it'll just slip off nice and easily well at least that's the theory um, I, I just was wondering whether I should chip some of this off um, but I, th I think this is flat enough here for it to lay flat quite well maybe this was the only thing in the way um, so let's see how does that how does that behave can I can I lift that off Chip it away a little bit to flatten it down a bit. Yeah, I th I'm happy with that. That's not bad at all. Gee, that didn't take long to dry that was brilliant okay so now I'll just pop some down on the cover and pop, pop some on the back here and I've torn around the edges of this image and that will be so much better to lay flat okay I think this is going to be amazing. Okay, so that should probably go a little bit maybe that way. Yep, I'm good with that. Okay, so then get really good contact. Whoops. Actually, this will be a good test Ah, yeah, this would be a good test because 
the Mod Podge is going over the wax and going over the acrylic paint. So let's see what transpires, shall we? Right. Oh, I hope this is going to be good. I really do. Okay, I'm going to just pause this for a sec while it dries. And I'm back. I have my trusty brick stencil. Oh. <laughs> okay, right. Be brave. Be brave, Di. Be brave. Be brave. All will be well. And if it's not, it'll make a lovely piece of artwork, won't it? Um, right, so I want... I'm going to have to bring the brickwork over it. Around it, as though it's a hole in the wall. So the torn, the torn edges, it just needs a couple of bricks, I think. Maybe here? Or maybe fill, fill this in in brickwork. And perhaps a few bricks up here. And that would get rid of all that green. And then it looks like it is a total wall. Yeah, okay, right. Talked myself into that. Can we pull it off? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Alrighty, now I'll choose some little bricks to go across here. Okay, maybe maybe just a little bit up here, I'm thinking. I mean, I, if, if it looks like an ancient ruin, then that's fantastic. bigger brick um, maybe should I do a brick there mm. where's my little where's my other little spatula aha uh -huh, there it is maybe that's got a finer Just to, just here. Okay. I want. I want some more. Just coming up. That's a good size one, maybe that one. Just there. Talk about finely detailed work. Could I have made it any harder of myself? It's a bit, gets a bit nerve-wracking, doesn't it? It's like you're doing miniature work. Uh, where was I? Oh, okay, here. Right. And 
it's going to call for a bit bigger one there, I think. Get a job as a brickies labourer after this. Okay. fumbly because I don't want to I'm trying not to make a mistake I so want this to look amazing okay a little gap there Probably thinking boring, too quiet. I've got to con I've got to concentrate. Duh. Okay. Maybe I can. Well, oh, things are going to look like a brick wall now. And I remembered the actor's name, Colin Firth. Oh, he is dreamy. Colin Firth. That's the um the the yeah the movie that I really loved him. He played the dad in The Secret Garden. In that movie and um, did a great job actually whoever the director was oh fantastic okay now this has got to look like crumbling stone it's crumbling other one. I seem to be all thumbs and fingers. I'm a bit scared that I'm going to regret it. Right. Okay, that's fantastic. Now I think I probably need to go up here maybe. Maybe just up there a bit too, why not? Okay, oops, are you still in frame? Yep. Okay, so...
Luckily, it does sit like concrete when it sits. I think if you were doing real concreting, it would be like, oh, that's pointing. <laughs> okay, well, that's looking a bit better. I'll clean that off. Try and use a cleaner part of the stencil. It's really difficult, isn't it? You got to try and. Yeah. Find the longer. The longer nose spatula is easier to wield. Yeah. Yes, this is called creating on the fly. Okay. It might look it might look weird now, but hopefully it'll all come together. After all, it's meant to be it's meant to be very old. Oh lordy. Should I turn that back on or off? Right. Have I done enough? I guess we'll wait and see. Let's um let's dry it, shall we? Okay, we're back again. And I'm going to now take my sanding block and just enough to feel the smoothness and if there's any I don't want any um, rough that could have been left dry a little bit longer actually but that's okay I'm okay with that that's good I'm okay with that now That's got rid of the the smoke effect. Maybe there needs to be some leaves put over that. Okay, so dare I rub the wax in? Boy, we're living dangerously today. dangerously <laughs> living the dream living the dream okay let's see how are we gonna go here we're gonna cover all the white up I 
and somehow somehow it's got to all come together it's got to have to smooch a bit more in. I'm liking that. That's some. Um, that is looking more and more like a hole in the wall, isn't it? If only I thought to do it at the beginning and then put the other leaves around, but hey ho. Sometimes you make decisions on the fly and everything can be uh, fixed, can't it? It's going to take a little bit just to get in to cover that white. Perseverance. We have to darken up some of those again. How's that looking? That's looking sweet, isn't it? I don't think I'd get a job as a real, uh, <laughs> as a real quick one. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. Oops, a daisy. Actually, it's almost looking now as though the light's shining on the, it's, um, it's the discovery of the hole in the wall and the secret garden beyond. I think this was a good decision. I, I do. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. And you're like, yeah, we'll all let the media die. <laughs> you're happy. Okay. I 
even though that's a bit rough it, it makes it look more authentic Make sure that all of this blends in now with um, with the rest of the wall. I'm going to get rid of some of the white. It's becoming a bit glaring. What I could have done if I'd thought about it was um, maybe tinted the texture paste. So it wasn't white. But it's all lessons for another day, isn't it? I've got the pages pretty much sorted to go in but I always like to get the cover done it's just first it's just always something I've done I just like the cover and then everything I can do I can then you know follow on with the pages to be totally cohesive so being a secret garden I want to put a lot of secret uh, journaling spots in it and um, try and source some uh, pictures of children Victorian children and somebody somebody recently released I'm trying to think who that was children might have been have a look I'll have a look through my favorites and see what I can find Wow Wow okay Wow that's um That's pretty epic. Right, well I'm going to um, sign this video off and look at it, think about it, see if I need to do any um, edges of darkening and then we'll be back to discuss more. So see you in the next one. Bye.